Hey everyone, Chris here, and welcome back to Generation Zero. I think I might have alerted a swarm over here. That's actually terrifying to see them all roaming the mountain like that. But yeah, pretty much picking up from last time, going with the Lost and Found mission. So we have to look for a supply truck at this readiness storage. I'm not sure what that means. I'm assuming, you know, it's just the people over here had a storage of supplies, and that's why it's called the readiness storage, you know, ready for whatever would happen, war, or maybe some nuke or something like that. I'm actually feeling a little bit more prepared this time, have tons of ammo, and I did make some med kits, so not a whole lot, but you know, decent amount. Also went ahead and swapped out the shotgun for some flares, I want to incorporate more of that. You know, just something to distract him for a bit, while I could get some shots in. But hey, you know what? I think this actually might work to my advantage. That they're all over here, and not by the base. You know, I'm almost tempted just to launch a rocket at them. Oh, but it's a lot of the big guys. I don't know if that'd be the best idea. And what do we have here? Kind of looks like fuel cells like last time. Any clues about the resupply storage? Here we got some log, yeah. Got a shipment manifest by the supply truck. Unfortunately, it was covered in blood and you can only make out parts of it. Seems to mention the shipment origin was IJ facility outside of Ostervik. Oh, okay, so kind of the same thing as the other ones. Destroy the fuel cells. Kind of wish there was a little bit more variety. Seems like every bunker we get at least one mission about fuel cells. I think even when we're in the underground train network thing, it was still similar. Not fuel cells, but you know, like robot shipments. All right, here we go. Hopefully this, oh. Yeah, I, I always forget. This is uh, lots of explosives. Be much more careful with how I just randomly shoot in here. Okay, but I think that was actually almost all of it. Yeah, now I think the issue is the guys outside. Oh my god, they can come in. I mean, at least I think I could hold this as a little bit of a choke point. Oh yeah, everyone's home. Uh, is this smoke? Yep. And I only have three actual regular rockets. Gotta make sure it counts. I think they're all kind of bunched up. Okay, I think that was a pretty good shot. And then I did say I was going to use flares and stuff more. So how about we throw one of those, kind of get them distracted. And launch another rocket. I'm hoping that was pretty effective. Yeah, I mean, he's like distracted at least a little. Oh my god. I don't even know what that was. Okay, that's one down. Let's try the same thing again. So, flare. And then some machine gun to take them down while they're a little distracted. I think it, like, overloads them. I should probably take care of this guy who's right here, huh? Uh, that was actually somewhat effective. Bought me a couple shots. Yeah, that guy's almost down. I am scared of that rail gun he has. I think it's freaking armor piercing. Number two's down, and I think number three went down right now. Nice. Another thing I also want to do is make some better armor. I noticed in the menus that you can actually upgrade the schematics. I kind of thought it was, oh, hey, we, we stopped something here. Huh. So, oh. I'm trying to count how many clips. So it's about three clips to take them down right now. Which isn't great, but it's not horrible either. Uh, I think all the hunters are still over there. I see some lights. Let's go ahead and take care of this. I think I could just shoot it. Yeah. Then I think I could open this. And there should be some decent supplies here. Probably just ammo. Yeah, it kind of seems like it. But hey, that lock picking skill is coming. In pretty handy. Oh yeah, but this is kind of what I was talking about earlier. 
so I could upgrade these up to five levels. I'm assuming that'll put us around maybe 10% bullet resistance for each, somewhere around there. So, you know, with like four items, that's already going to be, you know, about 40% bullet resistance. So that seems actually really, really good. And I should start doing that more. I think I just have to find a bunker with the right crafting table. All right, so after quite a while of bike riding and taking down some enemies to get the barcodes, we are finally here at the Minkin Bunker. It's kind of interesting. It seems almost like the first one we're at, where it's kind of close to a town. I guess the town's technically right above it. Yeah, let's go in here and get that warp board. It's always a good sign when stuff's exploding as soon as you walk in, you know? Ooh, I'm also hearing some large stepping. We deal with these guys pretty easily. Same thing with ticks. Oh, that guy didn't even notice his friend died. Come on. Hopefully I can make this one pretty quick. Gosh. Every time. I would love an extended magazine for this rifle. That'd be really, really good. And also, I would love for some more damage overall. <laughs> Luckily, I think there's still some skills I can get to do a little bit more damage. I think we had one from before that already gave us like 5% to components. Sounds like there's a tick right here. I think it's going to be like last time where I turned the power on and then have to come back. Maybe. And let's turn on the power. Nice. Just grab everything from there. Oh, it's telling us to inspect the computer lock to see why the power supply isn't working. Okay, so something's draining the power in the hangar, kind of like last time. So I'm assuming it's just ticks on the walls. I mean, we've been kind of hearing them the whole time. Seems like it's right through this door. I'm just happy it's not like full of gas for once. I really thought I was out of range for that. Guess not. No. And now what? Oh, hey there, buddy. Has a lot more health than I thought it did. Oh my gosh. I should have should have realized it was going to explode. Yep, that was on me. Okay, so before we go to the warboard. Okay, so before we go to the warboard, I did see this. So side mission. Okay, so some missing cargo. I'm assuming like all the other ones, it's about fuel cells or something like that. Or maybe even the transportation of the robots themselves. Oh, this is the wrong room entirely. Okay, my bad. There we go. This is the right room. Ooh, interesting. So it's telling them not to evacuate? Okay, either way, now we got two new missions, spiking the guns. So Coastal Artillery Fortress called Fort Torsba. Seems like it was one of the first locations to come under attack and really important to the Swedish army. So find out why the enemy went there. And the girl who cried wolf. Oh, so that's the message we just heard right now from the Lady Veronica. So she tried to warn him that something was going to happen, but then the officers there didn't listen. I think we did a mission similar to that, right at that farm place where all these scientists were being murdered. Except for one of them might have been taken or something. And then I think somewhere over here I did see... Yeah, here we go. The Peril Crafting Station. I think I just have to build a couple to level up. Ah, uh, seems like I need wood. At least for that one. Oh, it seems like all of them. That's kind of weird. Definitely got to keep the eye out for wood. I don't think I have any here. I don't even think it stores in there. 
Okay, either way, I think we just leveled up, so let's go ahead and spend those points. And hey, you know, I was just talking about more damage, so let's go ahead and get 5% more to enemy armor. And then I think the next one, yeah, so we could get even up to 10% more damage when we use automatic fire, which, I mean, we kind of are for the most part. Okay, and then after recycling some stuff, went ahead and got enough wood for the bullet resistance jacket. And now we can upgrade it, I think. I mean, it doesn't seem that great. I guess it's better than nothing. Yeah, we're only at 6% bullet resistance. Although I think we have a perk that gives us like 10. Okay, so here we are at the village of Kalebi. Oh, oh crud, okay, they definitely saw us. I was hoping to sneak past them completely. Uh, but I guess this is good enough. Can I close that door, please? Yep. Oh, jeez, okay. Oh, this isn't even the right house. I thought I was on the right one. Oh, gosh. Uh, this might be bad. I have four advanced first aid kits, though. I think those restore a huge chunk. But it doesn't matter if they keep hitting me. Maybe I could sneak out back. Gosh, I am getting wrecked by these guys. Uh, not the real gun, not the real gun. I, I ducked. Come on. <laughs> um. Okay, let me fight smarter, not harder. Let's distract him maybe with that. And then maybe we can sneak out the other way. <laughs> That's kind of my only hope right now. Should probably also, you know, be... Bruh. No! Gosh, that's so sad. Okay, so let's try this again. Hopefully, I actually choose the right house this time. If I could stop bouncing everywhere. Can I get off, please? Hold on. There we go. Yeah, I think it's this yellow house over here. I'm assuming this place is still swarming with those guys. I have no idea where they went. But hopefully they're not anywhere close to here. It seems like upstairs. I just don't know where the stairs are. Here we go. There's also one of those really large robots somewhere down the road there. So if any shooting gets done here, I'll probably bring him over too. Oh, it seems like we got a tape. Mom, Dad, it's Veronica. Look, I don't want to freak you out, but I think I might be in danger. Whatever you do, stay away from my house. It's not safe. Trust me on this, okay? Maybe you guys should go to Uncle Tob Betstenum's nest. No, wait, I'll come over and explain everything. I'll leave from work now. Oh, and I need to crash at your place tonight. Oh, interesting. So this is kind of the parents' house or grandparents or something? Now we have to go over to her actual house. She said it was dangerous. I don't know if that just means, you know, there's robots there or she already knew she was being monitored beforehand. Maybe by military or something else. Okay, we also got a side mission over here, I think. If someone drew a few symbols, a church is circled and says it's safer now. Oh no, I do not like all the stepping that's going on as I got here. Oh gosh. And there's ticks, of course. Which is going to attract everyone else. Okay. I think there's another one here. Yep. Yeah. Man, this place is freaking swarmed with them. Oh gosh. And now more are coming for sure. I was really hoping the silencer would do a bit more. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it definitely could have been better. Is this just a newspaper? Oh, and a key. Okay, okay. So that's going to open up the study downstairs. Hopefully. Sounds like there's a tick in there for sure. Yep. Oh, ticks, plural. And I think this is all happening while I'm getting attacked. Okay, let's check out the computer. Oh, we got a floppy disk. Okay. So the most recent entry on the floppy disk reads, random notes, number 317. I'm ignore whatever's going on outside. Even the FOA and Army had power cuts, network issues. We had power surges too. Coincidence? Probably not. VU not improving. Everyone at 53, super pessimistic. Wants to pull the plug. Monitor acted up again today. Hacken left me off as usual. 
I'll always be the new geeky girl to him. Got to go to work early tomorrow. There's something I got to test. Oh, and then we can read the newspaper. Is Sweden really ready for war? Monica Bystrom. Oh, so rumors about the FOA and military being affected by power losses and issues with telecommunications. So it seems like they're already kind of getting attacked. And then people are just kind of wondering, like, where's this money going to the military? Stuff like that. Okay, interesting, interesting. Man, I am seeing some crazy looking structures over here. They almost look like missile silos. The way they kind of go into the ground and pop out. And there's a bunch of these over here. There's that one. Another one over there. And then I'm kind of worried about the name of the place we're going, right? It's a fort. So I kind of wonder if it means like an enemy fortress. Or one of our own that was taken over. I mean, it looks like it was taken over by the red lights I'm seeing. And even if you saw there... They have their own kind of electricity poles that are all like mechanical and stuff. It looks super cool, but again, kind of worrying. Uh, I think I'm going to... Oh god, why is he running over towards me? I do not like that at all. Can I get a mountain bike? That'd be amazing because, yeah, no way I'm making it up this. Oh, you know what? I was running away from these robots, but I think I actually ended up at the right place. I'm just trying to find, you know, a safe house so all my progress isn't lost when I inevitably die. Uh, I think this actually worked out for once. Just need to take care of these guys and it should be right there. Oh, never mind. Okay, apparently this needs a key. Oh, yeah, and that's way for them. Just dumb. Okay, my bad. I kind of had to abandon the bike on the mountain. Uh, but hopefully it's not too far. Okay, so here it is. So find any intelligence about the attack on Fort Sorberga. I think I called it something else like two seconds ago. And I think I hear some robots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As usual. Oh, I think it's the shocking ones, yeah. That was some decent hits there. Oh, we got more still. I think that's it. Really hope so. Oh gosh, we got the big guys. I hate the big guys. Uh, maybe let's distract him a little. And then maybe I can get rid of these guys in like one blow. Mm, not really. Okay, I should probably focus on the larger guy. Come on, come on, come on. Don't want to waste it on you. And then I get to use that wall for cover. Only one more shot on that, though. Let's focus on these guys first. I don't even know where those guys are running off to. Those are trying to be smart and take some shelter. I think there was one more there. No idea where he went. Okay. Not going to question it too much. And people are telling me to try to aim for the guns themselves. Oh, what the heck? He went, like, all the way around. Interesting. That's some weird AI pathing. Uh, how about we switch over to this? Oh, I forgot I had the thermal vision on. Kind of cool. But not very helpful right now. Really trying to hit the guns. I think I just hit that bot controller. Okay, I did see some good sparks right now. So maybe we're getting close. Yeah, it seems like it's almost short-circuiting. Yeah, I think after that, it can't really do too much. And I keep forgetting about the flares. How about I throw one of those? And then... Maybe we should be able to shoot it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, kind of got distracted for a bit. Might even be... I think it was almost running away. I can't even get a clear shot. Come on, let me shoot you. Okay, that thing's almost fried. Ooh, I knocked off, I think, the Bazooka RPG. Now it still just has the machine gun. Okay, that's progress at least. Oh, come on. Come on, go down. Oh, I think it did. Jeez. Right, let me just grab everything because that's a lot of flashing there. I guess I didn't even really need to take it down. 
I could have just gone down here the whole time. Eh, it was a decent amount of EXP, so I think it was worth it. Oh, there's not even power. So, Fort Torres Berga Artillery Section. Restricted access. The protocols for the operation of the fort and its battalions. So, just kind of telling who could go where. Um, so it's telling us to turn on power. Seems like it's just over here to the left. That doesn't open. And that's locked. I guess we're going lower. Let's turn that on. Take care of the ticks. And now we're looking for a command center. I mean, this is almost like a warboard mission. Just a little different. Okay, I'm getting a little worried. Because one of the doors down there said it needed a key. I hope this isn't like the gas mission. Where I couldn't find the key at all. Okay, never mind, never mind. Seems like it's just through this door, maybe. Ooh, we're almost going to level up to level 18 as well. So we're going to get even more damage, hopefully. Oh, there's robots in here. I didn't even see them. Got one over here. Ticks everywhere. Jeez. I got excited for a sec. I thought these were... Med kits. I think that's the last one. And then... Oh, tape. Oh, let me just make sure nothing's going to interrupt me during that. I think there's still something here. Yeah, just ticks. Let's check out that tape. Oh, interesting. So it seems like maybe that happened after the robots took over. You know, kind of doing friendly fire. What's this going to do? It's going to pop out a little floppy disk or not. Okay, it says enter the coastal artillery bunker. I'm assuming it means that locked room. I still haven't found a key, so that kind of worries me. Hold on, let me go the other way first. Oh, I think I just went in a circle by going that way. Interesting. Yeah, because it's like the main hall. And... Am I just going back to the front? Maybe it's a separate thing. Yeah, because it looks like I'm going outside. Oh, and across. Okay, okay. So maybe I use the computer... To kind of open up this, because I think it mentioned something about like inner columns would give you access or something. Locate and disable all three artillery batteries. I think battery in this sense means something else, right? I'm not just like a electrical battery. I think. Oh. Um, I'm kind of worried to be shooting in that room because those look like you know artillery shells this whole room just gonna blow up that's kind of what I'm thinking oh my god there's so much recoil but also I'm just a bad shot more ticks what the heck are these Am I even in the right spot? Oh, cable node. Okay. Oh, so they're just, uh, they've just been hacked by ticks. Okay, okay. So I think I had the right idea earlier. Is he dead? I think he is. Okay. So yeah, it seems like they just hijacked all the systems and started attacking our friendlies. Okay, that's one down. Yeah, for a tick right there. I mean, it's probably not good for me to be shooting a computer itself. But, eh, it's fine, I think. Okay, off to number three. And I think that was the last one. Yeah, mission completed. Gosh, freaking ticks. That was really hard to shoot. 
Okay, I think we leveled up. Oh. Okay. I think it was that tick. I really hope it was. So how about we just continue with more armor damage? And I think next time we'll get trigger happy. I think it's just that armor damage kind of applies to every gun. Whereas this one's only for automatic weapons. But yeah, not too bad. Finished another region today, I think. Kind of curious about this over here. FNIX Neuro Node. I think it's just their kind of bases that we saw. Oh, so I think those things that we saw popping out of the ground are their data centers, like their servers. Interesting. I mean, I haven't really got an mission to go destroy those things, so I haven't even really touched them. But maybe next time we'll kind of pass by, take it out and see what it does. Because then, yeah, just two more bunkers to find. Skavardin and Hermit Lennon. Made some decent progress today, so how about we leave it there for now? So yeah, like always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.